Recording. Recording. Okay, yeah. is the focus working now? Yeah. Okay, this is it. Yesterday, I worked on my body. So today, I'm working on my soul. Shopping. But don't worry, not like the real expensive shopping. This is like hippie shopping, because we're at the Feria de Trista Nirvana. Or is it Naranja? You can buy everything there. You can buy oranges, cebolla, your underwear, presents, even your pet. I have a bunny at home. His name's Herbert. Oh, but, but he's with my friend. What? They eat them here? I'm Kimberly Horowitz, and this is my vlog. Some of you have asked me in the comments below, how can you, a beautiful Jewess, thank you, <laughs> even live in the salvage jungles of Uruguay? Is there medicine there? Do they have roads? You guys, like, don't be so ignorant. Uruguay has everything the United States has. They have doctors, they have cars, they have racism. I feel so at home here. Hola, buenos dias. So join me in Uruguay, where every day is a celebration, <laughs> but there are no celebrities. Because the star attraction is El Pueblo, the people. Anyway, I got to Sofia's puesto. She's my friend and she sells like old photographs on stamps or something. Hi, Sophie. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Jimmy? Thanks for having me here. You're welcome. This is Sophie, everybody. Hello. Uh, this is my mom. Hola. Hola, encantada. ¿Cómo está usted? Trabajando. These stamps are old and just to look at. And since Al Gore invented the internet, everyone just uses email. But just because something doesn't work anymore doesn't mean you shouldn't take care of it. Wipe it down, dust it off, like an old person. Son, son creepy. ¿Cómo se dice creepy? Muñecas. Creepy, what is? Sophie's mom was so interesting. She taught me so many things I should have already known. Eh, son chinos? No, son este de Berlín. Ah, Berlín. Antes de la caída del muro de Berlín. Porque se cayó el muro ahí, no sé si lo sabes. Oh, wow. Durante 40 años habían construido un muro para separar Alemania. Y cuando There empieza a caer el comunismo. Uh, ¿Hubo un muro para separar la gente? Sí. She explained the Berlin Wall to me. Y no, y no se podían ver. No. Which is a wall they built in Germany to separate the people in Berlin from the Mexicans in Berlin. And as my therapist always says, the only walls that should exist are the ones in your mind that keep the dark thoughts away. But even those we should be tearing down because no walls are good walls. Now let's talk about your mother. No, no, no se usan porque la gente las colecciona así. Oh. Oh. oh, is this your dad? It's not my dad. It's not my dad. He was a guy, just a guy there. He was with that oh. outfit. I don't know why. Suddenly, this old man came up to me. I think he was looking for a picture of himself. Yeah. Yo también. Yo también. Yo también. Me gustan las fotos Antiguas. viejas. Antiguas. And he was like, oh my God, your Spanish is amazing. Are you Uruguayan? Hablas bien castellano. Because I have like a great Uruguayan accent. <laughs> Yo hablo bien? Sí, para, para, para. Ah, muchas gracias, señor. Sí. Usted también. Oh. ¿De qué presencia? No entiendo. Americana. I don't know how he figured out that I'm not from here because I totally wore my like conjunto for the feria. And then things got like weird. And then things got like even weirder. Había que imponer. 
una ley de control de la natalidad. Mamá, que traía al mundo un hijo. Sí. ¿eh? Children, sí. ¿eh? pobre, pobre, poca plata, sí. más de uno, como en, como en China, más de un hijo no pueden tener. I mean, a baby is not an exclusive Gucci bag, okay? Even though they look adorable in them. China no está bueno. No está bueno. No. Ahora... Acá está peor. If you want people to wait to have a baby, then you should give them something interesting to do. An opportunity to do something good for the world. Like becoming an influencer or a professional rollerblader. Es un buen pensamiento, pero acá no se aplica. Y cuando esas, esas señoras van a dar a luz un niño, decirle, señora, no más children, ¿eh? Y los médicos saben lo que hacer para que esa señora no tenga me ocho, muy diez en, en o doce hijos. Me parece muy violento. No, pero ¿sabe cuál es el problema? Okay, gross. <laughs> Why does this old man want to try to decide what's going on in a woman's, pardon my French, vagina? Leave my Britney alone! I call it that because I shave it when I'm depressed. I bought some... Um, matches here. It's like to replace what you used. Right. It's not the same as well, right? I felt bad for having made it with the phosphorus and I bought it in a new one. Ah, yes. Nos vámonos, Facundo. Ojo with the veterans and me, you see, it's kind of heavy. He's an old man anyway. He doesn't have Facebook or Twitter. So it's like his thoughts don't even exist. They will like wither away with his body. <laughs> Gracias, Sophie. De nada, Kimi. Me encantó que vinieras. Are you recording? Are you recording? Sí, sí, sí. I bought myself some friends. A ver. <laughs> $20. Who robbed me? Someone robbed me? No. You got robbed. What? Who robbed? Somebody robbed me? The goldfish robbed you. $20 for goldfish? You're not cutting costs. I, I sympathize with you. But we all have to save money. I had to give up my my third maid. And she became poor as a result. And I'm poor and you're poor. And I, now I understand the cycle of poverty. <sighs> Mimi, we're like not poor, OK? We're broke. Look, if you spend $20 on goldfish, they should at least be something you can eat. I can't eat them. They're my friends. Nothing that smells like that can be your friend. And I'll tell you what could be your friend, though. A job. <laughs> <laughs>